rise up into my world. Renew your definition. World. <clears throat> yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Fun fact, did you guys know that Panicone cars leave behind trails of musical notes? I noticed this after being brutally run over by a car. Then I remembered it's the dreamscape, so I did it four more times to confirm. Speaking of music, you might wonder if you should pull for the new character Robin. Then this video will hopefully help you decide, so she will be performing in your team too. My name is Aloha and this is my Robin guide. Robin is a physical harmony character, this time a good one. Her basic attack attacks the enemy with her voice. Just like how my parents feel attacked when I speak up to them. Wait, the name is Wingflip White Noise? Her skill ascends her to heaven, the place Genshin players don't go to. That's fine, because Robin is more than enough to look at. After casting the skill, she increases all damage dealt by all allies by a huge amount. This lasts for 3 turns, making her incredibly skill point positive. Her ultimate, Vox Harmonique Opus Cosmique, sounds like a witchcraft chant. But what it does is she starts singing this absolute banger of a song and making every other ally immediately take action. Allies also gain attack scaling with Robin's own attack. This is like a Bronya skill for the entire team. But that's not all. Whenever an ally attacks, she sprinkles some additional physical damage on top of the ally's damage dealt. Her ult also crowd controls herself, making her unable to act until the song ends. Or you can just stop playing and listen to it and never make the song end. Be aware that enemies who don't like the song can still attack her on stage. Sounds like a lot? Well, this ultimate has a whopping cost of 160 energy. To put that in perspective, Ruin Mei's ultimate costs 130 energy. Since she might have energy problems, her talent can help. Her talent simply gives all allies permanently some crit damage, and in return she gains some energy when those allies punch some enemies. Her technique charms all enemies she walks past, causing them to follow her. This can group them nicely for a single long fight instead of many short ones. This is useful because for her next fight she also gets more energy for every wave of enemies. Her traces, unlike her ultimate, are very simple. I act first. Follow up a piece and free energy for just playing normally. As for all characters, it costs one crap load to obtain Eidolons. You could even say she's robbing our wallets! <laughs> but if you're willing to pay the funds for Robin's next concert, then here you go. Literally ruin May old. More speed. More energy. Any E3. Literally links old. Any E5. And for the E6 tradition that many supports follow, she's the DPS now. And yes, this casually four and a half times her damage output. Yeah, that's not a big deal. For her relics, give her a two-piece combination of those two attack sets. But you can swap out one of these two pieces for the speed set if you need more. You can four-piece the physical damage set, since fully stacked it technically gives the most attack of all relic sets and some physical damage bonus. But realistically speaking, go for which one you have the best substats for. For ornaments, go with either this or this for the extra energy. Or if you want, you can give her either this or this for either even more attack or effect dress if you prefer. For stats, give her an attack body, speed or attack boots, attack ball, and energy rope. Since those are the only stats she really needs, go for attack and speed substats. Plus, any defensive stats are good. For light cones, her signature is good. But you can definitely get away with options like the new event light cone, but also Bronya's light cone or meshing cogs for more energy. Do not give her dance, 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 since her ult is already triple D but better. For her team, as a harmony character, she can do so much in almost any team for any DPS. But because of that one follow-up trace she has, she will work slightly better in follow-up teams with for example Dr. Ratio, Topaz, Clara or Himiko. And because of those huge attack buffs, she will be the new best harmony character for DOT teams. Honorable mention goes to Huo Huo since she can be the team sustainer whilst also providing lots of energy and attack, which is both perfect for Robin. Ah, alright, that's it. Wait, uh, where was I before? Alright. Oh, Rise up into my